No, he's going up there again, Larry. He thinks there might be a little speed up there if he can hook it up. Well, he can search right now because he has no pressure from behind. And like Mike said, and you said, Darrell, they're about to catch a bunch of lap traffic with nine to go. Yeah, that's going to be the key really right here for these, uh, for, for Kyle particularly. If he can work his way by these last two at the back of the field here, he'll be okay. Joey Logano's problem was a broken wheel, which put him against the wall and down onto pit road. That's, uh, listen, that's brisk. Yes. We never break a wheel. But when you come to Bristol, you can break anything. <laughs> break things that never got broke before. Eight laps to go, and Kyle Busch begins to run into traffic. Bill Elliott. Pretty much single file ahead of the leader. That's good news for uh, Kyle to be able to pick them off one at a time. And he's built a little bit of a cushion over Carl Edwards in the 99, so he has a little margin of error there right now. Yeah, it almost looks like that Carl and Jimmy Johnson both are saying, Uncle, I give. It's, this like, it's like they used their stuff up all they could on that last restart trying to do what they needed to do. If Kyle can hang on here, this will be five wins in a row here. Mm. Seven tenths of a second is the gap. Carl Edwards to catch Kyle Busch. Perhaps Kyle would have to have trouble in traffic as he pulls up on Travis Quapple next and then A.J. Allmendinger. Right now, if you're Kyle Busch, you're holding your breath. Let's let that white flag fly, please. Four more laps. His last nine Bristol Cup races, six top two finishes. I just, I just go back to what I said in the beginning of the show. When you get your arms around this place, you love it. And right now, he's got his arms wrapped tightly around it. Three laps to go. And Butch continues to extend his lead. It's now a full second. Yeah, he's caught this traffic just right. He's worked his way by each one of these cars without any problem. He, he wants to see that white flag. He knows we'll have a race then. Combined, the Bush brothers have won half of the last 18 Bristol races. Unbelievable. No bushwhackers today, boy. White flag for the M&M's Toyota. Sweep it again, baby. Sweep it again. <laughs> Off turn four. Kyle Busch scores his 20th Sprint Cup Series victory in his 226th start. Big battle to the line between Paul Menard, Kevin Harvick, and Kurt Busch. That battle for fifth settled in favor of Menard. What a comeback for Kevin Harvick in that 29. Remember, he was in that caution back on lap 437. These old race cars are tough, man. Of all the cars that got wrecked today, Daryl, we ended the race with only six in the garage. Yeah, again, it's a short track, and you hit the wall here. If you don't, you know, if you don't just kill it, you can go in, get it fixed, and get back out. Kyle Busch ties Speedy Thompson for 33rd on NASCAR's all-time win list. His last win came here last August. It's been 15 races between Sprint Cup victories for Kyle. And look at that old piece. Not a scratch on it. Drove a really smart race all day long. And it runs Kyle's streak of consecutive winning seasons in this series to seven. And I just, I tell you, with the maturity he has shown me the beginning of this season, this could be a guy that could be a real threat to knock Jimmy Johnson off his throne. Kyle Bush is the season's fourth different race winner, joining Trevor Bain, Jeff Gordon, and Carl Edwards. Visiting victory lane. He is a seasoned veteran at what he's doing right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He'll probably do that better than anyone. First win for Toyota this season. And the first win this season for Joe Gibbs Racing. Kyle Busch goes to victory lane next. <laughs> 